Welcome to this week's MVP segment on High School Cube News. I'm Beth Long here at Simeon Career Academy where we are featuring six foot seven senior Eli and I bound DJ Williams. DJ, there are huge expectations for Simeon this year. What are your guys' own expectations for yourselves? Uh, we just want to go out and compete and destroy everybody, you know. Uh, we want to just leave our ground, you know. We want to actually go undefeated too, you know. Jabari, his team, they was known for winning four state championships in a row. We want to be known for being the first team in Simeon history going undefeated and winning state championships, a city championship. What kind of preparation have you guys put in in the preseason to make sure that you can, you know, start the ball rolling really quickly? Uh, just working hard. You know, me and Ed, you know, we've been great leaders this past couple months, you know, been pushing our guys, you know, during conditioning, pushing everybody, making sure everybody working hard, you know, even during practice, we make sure everybody working hard. So just leadership, you know, everybody's starting to pick it up, work hard, because that loss last year really got to us, so we really want to come out and show everybody that we really are the state champions. And you mentioned Jabari Parker, you have a long line of history, you know, greats coming out of Simeon basketball. What are you guys doing, you and Ed and the rest of the team, to make sure that you still have you know, that legacy carrying it on? Just work hard, just work on our game every day. You know, Jabari done won, so we got to win. You know, it's, it's only right if Simeon wins state championships. You've now shifted into the senior role on the team. Like you said, you're much more of a leader now. Yeah. How much has that changed your game on the court now that you're, you're leaving the floor? Oh, a lot, you know, being more vocal. You know, being, on, being the first to be on court, you know, I usually stay at the practice, you know, I usually shoot, do my ball handling drill, you guys see me do before practice, so I just prepare real, like, you know, just work on my game a lot, you know, during practice, before, after practice, anytime I can. Some words that are used when people talk about your game are versatile and serious mm -hmm. and just kind of like all over the floor. What do you think of yourself as a basketball player? What's the scouting report on yourself? Oh, uh, well, you was pretty right about what you said. You know, I can just pretty much do a lot, a lot of things on the court, you know, shoot, pass, create for my teammates, uh, play the one, two, three, four, five, you know, next level probably one, two, three, four. So I can do a lot of things. You know, I'm, again, I'm working on leadership. You know, that's another thing I got to work on. And you've been asked to play, like you said, nearly every position on the court here. Semyon, do you have a favorite? Uh, point guard, I think that's my favorite. You know, it's been working out for me, actually. And that's what you're going to play in college, right? Uh, hopefully. If Coach grows, you know, if Coach grows, if it works like that, then yeah. But if not, then wherever he puts me, I'm going to just work hard at it and try to, you know, kill at it. And you mentioned Coach Gross. You are headed to Illinois, staying in state to play Big Ten basketball. What are you excited about? You've officially signed that letter of intent yeah. now. I'm just excited, period. Just college basketball, the atmosphere, you know, it's wonderful, you know. So, yeah, I, I just can't worry. I'm just keep working, working my body. You know, the Big Ten is a lot of strong, you know, the next level period. A lot of everybody is pretty strong and grown. So I just got to work on my body. And you've been committed to Illinois for quite some time. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose the Illini? Uh, Coach Gross, uh, you know, amazing person, you know, high energy guy. You know, his guys, you know, he teach them how to be men more than just players. You know, I like that. And uh, it's close to home. My mom, my family can come see me play. Big Ten, you know, uh, Big Ten, the best conference in the NCAA. So it's a lot of things. And there are three Big Ten commits on this Simeon team. Yeah. A lot of Division One, you know, prospects and talent. Just how good can you guys be? We could be great. I think my team can be the number one team in the country. Like, we, we work to be that way. So we just got to show it this year. And other than the talent, I mean, this team is full of sheer, just God-given talent, but what are some other things that set Simeon basketball apart? Uh, Coach Rob, uh, sending, I think he got, uh, got the most players to go D1 in, uh, in the state, so that's real big. You know, a lot of legends came from Simeon. You know, people knock on Simeon academically, but, you know, you can go to any school you want from Simeon, so it's a lot of things. Oh, and you also go pretty high in the NBA draft, right? Yeah, Derek oh, yeah, Rose, Jabari, Jabari Parker. Parker. Yeah, we got a couple. What do you think that says about Coach Smith to have a first, a first overall pick and a second overall pick in the NBA draft yeah. under his belt? Uh, just being a legend, you know, Coach Rob is a legend. I think to me, he's the best coach in uh, Illinois history. So just being a legend, you know, he coached a lot of great players. You know, Jabari and Derek, was, you know, great players. You know, so it, it's just real good. DJ, there is definitely a bullseye on the back of Simeon basketball, and each team you guys play is going to come into the game trying to knock off, you know, one of the best teams in the state. What do you guys do to avoid that? Just stay focused and, and just continue to work on the game plan Coach Rob gives us. You know, we just, just stay focused. Don't let nobody knock us off our stand. Just stay focused. Once again, congratulations, DJ. This is DJ Williams here at Simeon High School, who's this week's MVP on High School Cube News. Make sure you stay tuned for next week's.